So last night, my son's tossing and churning, and so I got up and I got him a, a cup of milk by 2.30 in the morning. Last night, go back to bed and thought I was gonna go to sleep, and the Lord began to speak to me and began to say, you need to pray, man. You need to pray. So I'm sitting there praying, laying there praying. Before I know it, tears are running down my eyes. Then he gave me the scripture. Ezekiel 3.17. Ezekiel 3.17. Son of man, I have made you a watchman for the house of Israel. Therefore, hear a word from my mouth and give them a warning from me. Give them a warning from me. Now I know the state of the union is tonight. If you even care, if you even knew, what, do you even care what the state of the union is? God said you need to give them a warning from me. I, don't, I would have rather been asleep, truth be told, but I'm, I'm laying in bed, tears are rolling down my eyes. So then this morning I get up and just a burden is on my heart. My heart is heavy for you today. Do you feel the heart? Do you feel God's heart crying today, broken today, yearning for his children? All humanity, not just the Christians in America. Christ died, newsflash, Christ died. Jesus Christ, son of God died on that cross for humanity, for everybody. That means that the 5,000, over 5,000 that died in an earthquake yesterday in Turkey, who those that were ushered into eternity just like that, if they did not know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, they missed out eternity without Jesus. The Bible says, the Bible says that there is only one way to the Father and that is through Jesus Christ. That's scripture. Matthew 26, 40 said, Jesus telling Peter said, what? Could you not even pray with me an hour? You're asleep. I'm about to go to the cross. I'm about to go die a gruesome death for you and you're gonna be asleep still. Come on, people, man of God, pastor, woman of God. You say Jesus is Lord, but you don't even have time to pray. Yesterday when you heard the news of the earthquake, did you stop and pray? Did you really stop and pray? And not some superficial, oh Lord, I pray for those people over there. I pray that they're okay. And then you're on your way and you go right back to scrolling on your phone. I'm saying this in love. I, 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 this, the Lord put this on my heart. I have to give it to you the way you give it to me. Over 5,000 dead ushered into eternity. I was watching a news report, and the, 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 the reporter, and he's reporting on the news. Live on TV, live. And the aftershock, a 7.0 aftershock. And the cameraman, everybody starts running, and just buildings are collapsing behind them. And then they, they come, they stop shaking, they turn around, and there's these, there's a family and there's little kids. So the news reporter goes over and grabs this little kid, man. Jesus. Does that even move you? Do you even care? Too busy? Too busy? Mass shootings. The mass shootings all over the place. Are we that desensitized as a as a community, as a nation? We're now desensitized that mass shootings are just another, just another shooting. Oh, oh well, that doesn't move you. That doesn't drop you to your knees. Well, you'd rather be uh, too busy going, getting ready for story time with Captain Bob, Captain uh, uh, Flake over there. Story time with the drag queen for your kids. That doesn't bother you. It doesn't move you. This is not a Christian nation. 
We need to repent. We need to ask, uh, uh, ask for forgiveness from Sodom and Gomorrah. This is what's happening all around you. Even pull on your heartstring at all? Nothing? Do you share? When was the last time you shed a tear in the presence of the Almighty? When? If ever. And you call him Lord? You, there's homeless all around you. It's been freezing. The Northeast is in a deep freeze and there's homeless all around and that doesn't bother you. Yet your closet is full of jackets. You got a storage of blankets. Yesterday, my wife comes home and she's going down the street and she hears the neighbors, uh, 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 the neighbors arguing. She calls me. She says, "Hey, we need to pray for our neighbors. They're, 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 you know, they're fighting." And so, so I stopped what I was doing. And my wife, and she's going back to work. We, we prayed for our neighbors, for that marriage, that that that, that the enemy would be driven now. When was the last time you prayed for your neighbor? Do you even stop for a second? Oh, but we're quick to complain about the inflation. Uh, we're quick to complain about the rising gas prices. Uh, you're quick to complain about the price of eggs. Uh, come on. Come on. Yeah, but Brother Daniel, I don't got time for that. Yeah, but Brother Daniel, I'm too busy. I'm stuck in traffic. Yeah, but Brother Daniel, I don't have time for that. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to pray. Uh, I'm too busy with my family. I'm too busy with, with me, self. I don't live in paycheck to paycheck. Who's helping me? You got no time for the hurting and for the loss and those that are bound by drugs and alcohol, those that are dying, the, 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 the southern border, there's thousands that are dying. Oh, I need to shore up the wall. And we have all these excuses, we have all these complaints, but we don't pray. Jesus said, what? You can't even spend an hour and pray? Oh, but you're too busy getting your prayer, getting your guests this ready for the Super Bowl, for a game. That means nothing in eternity. The State of the Union, not good. Let's just call it straight. It's not good. You're too worried, pastor. You're too worried about your skinny jeans and your and your smoke machines and you're not preaching the gospel. The pure, unadulterated, uh, not watered down word of the living God. Too worried about your skinny jeans and looking all fashionable. Come on, man of God. We're a month and a half into 2023. Are you still sticking to your guns? Are you still reading your Bible? I'm gonna read the Bible this year, January 1st, and through the first you know, couple days, yeah, you're reading your word of God. It's probably collecting dust now. I'm saying this in love. I wrote it down, God, God put it on my eye. Today, Look around you. There's someone that you can help. There's somebody that you can help, that you can pray for, that you can bring a word of encouragement to, that you can smile at at least. You see people hurting all around you. You go pump gas and you see that homeless person there. You can go put. You can go smile and say, "Hey man, I, you know I I don't know what you're going through, but but I'm gonna. Can I pray for you? We have the answer, or so we say." You have Jesus Christ within. Come on. The urgency. I mean, there's a, 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 a Chinese spy balloon flies over the sovereign airspace of the United States of America. Oh, it's just, man, it's still just a weather. It's just a weather balloon. Nothing to see here. Move along. Come on, people. Come on, people. <laughs> what I want to say. 
I'm telling you, the Lord, since 2.30 last night, the Lord's been on me. The Lord's been on me. And I have to share it. I'm hoping at least one person, at least one person, somebody is moved. Somebody hears the heart of the Lord. The Bible said, give them a warning from me. That about me. I have to walk in obedience. I have to sound the alarm. I have to shout sound the trumpet. I have to. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for those that are struggling, those that are just going about their business and walking in disobedience. I pray, Lord, that we would begin to be obedient to your word, quick to obey. Quick to obey your word. Quick to obey the unctions, the leading of your spirit. Give us that burden for the lost. Give us that burden, Jesus. Father, I pray for those that are lost. I pray for those that are struggling, those that have lost family members, loved ones. Father, that we would not become desensitized to the filth that's all around us. Jesus. We repent. I repent for the sins of this nation. I repent for the sins of this community. I repent, Lord God, Father, forgive us. Forgive us that we are still asleep. Father, I pray to give you all the praise and all the glory. I thank you. Hear my babies in the background. I have the privilege to stay home and minister and disciple my little babies, little prayer warriors, little worshipers. Be encouraged today. Be encouraged. God's on the throne. God's still on the throne. Use this time. Use this the last uh, 12 minutes to pursue, to fan into flame. Burn hot for the Lord today. Be encouraged. God bless you. Firefall.